Okay, so these next series of views are going to have a different intro because these figures have been out for a really long time. I've had them just sitting there, but in honor of the X-Men 97 Wave 2 that's coming out and the fact that the show comes out this this year in March, I will be doing a series of reviews on the X-Men 97 Wave 1 figures. So that way I have all X-Men 97 figure reviews all up on my channel. I have the X-Men 97 Wave 2 figures coming in starting March 1st. I have Cyclops and then the other ones will come in at other times. They came in at different points. So don't I don't know why, but this will be the first figure that we'll be looking at. So here we have X-Men 97 Wolverine. I've had this one for a while, just never got to review it. I have him with the claws in, but let's take a look at his accessories. So when he comes in the packaging, he comes on, he comes with his Logan head sculpt, which I think looks very nice. You can see the little, little attempt to put hair down there. It's a little, I find that that was, that could have been done a little bit better. But other than that, no, the head sculpt's really good. This is how he's supposed to look on the show. Very generic. Looks the same as how he did in the original cartoon. And then he comes with some retractable, cl retracted claws, some fists. And then comes with the cowl. Just pulled back. <clears throat> but let's have a look at the figure. So I have him with the claws in. Just because I think it looks cooler. Um, the yellow is very, sh it has a very sh like shine, glossy kind of look. I like it. This is his like regular tiger striped costume. This is probably the best Wolverine figure that we've ever gotten. And this is my actually my only Wolverine figure. But you can see there, the claws are just soft plastic. They can kind of bend easily, as you can see this one's a little bent, but it's fine. All the paint deets on here is perfect. It's pretty good. You can see the belt right here. I believe that is a, yeah, that is a separate piece, but it is glued on there. You see his boots, the little frills right here. Nicely designed. You can see parts on there. There's a little bit of paint right here on mine, but no big deal. <clears throat> you see the back of the figure, that same shiny, glossy. It's just yellow plastic, and I think they just painted on these, or this is how it came. But you know, you can see they instead of painting the hair, they put texture. I would prefer both, but this is fine. But you see pinless elbows, pinless legs. <clears throat> But yeah, this has to be one of the best Wolverine figures that we've ever gotten. And it's coming, it's going to be in the new X-Men 97 show. But you can see he has the same base design as when he was in the original cartoon. But yeah, let me first show you what it looks like with the claws retracted. Yeah. And then mine, the head is a little stiff to get off. So give me one second. So I don't. Here, let me fix this. Let me try to take his head off because it's a little stiff. And I'll be back. So that's what he looks like with the cowl off. You can see it just, it just has a little thing. So you can make it like it's just pulled over. Yeah, the peg on. The peg goes on a little stiff on mine, but yeah, it still works. You just got to be a little careful with it, but <clears throat> yeah, these are just going to be a series of quick reviews, but then we'll see nothing too special about it. Let me zoom out here a little bit, but you can see yeah, the head scope's good. It's a little, a little tight, but yeah. But let's take a look at his articulation. <clears throat> so 
Double jointed. Double jointed elbows. Bicep swivel. Elbow. Shoulder moves back and forth. It can go up that far. And then there is a butterfly joint, which is actually pretty good. The shoulder pad can move. It is just pegged into the shoulder. The head can go up and down, side to side. I believe it's on a dumbbell joint. <coughs> and then he has an ab crunch, which he can go down pretty far. Waist swivel. The legs can go back. That can go forward that far. They can go back about like that far. They can go out that far. He does have a thigh swivel. There is a castle over there at the boot, and he has double jointed elbow, double jointed knees. And this fucking go forward and go back, and then there is an ankle pivot. <coughs> but yeah, this is probably the best Marvel Legends Wolverine. Nothing too special. Uh, like I said, I've had this figure for a while, it's just since the new X-Men 97 was coming out. I figured I could do a review on the other ones. Just quick reviews, nothing too fancy or anything, but... Yeah, uh, let's look at some comparisons now. <coughs> so, there's Wolverine. Here, I have... Here I have... Spider-Man from No Way Home, his final suit. You can see his Wolverine is quite short. Yeah, Wolverine's very short. So there's that. Oh, there goes Wolverine. <clears throat> I don't usually have a tough time getting in the stand, so I don't know why he's not wanting to stand right now. You know, he just laid down. Here he is to, with, uh, oh my, I gotta scoot that up a little bit, with the Mr. Sinister from the VHS set. That's the only one from the VHS set that I have, but you can see um, there is a considerable size difference, like a massive size difference. Like Wolverine is short, like he's only 5'4 in the comics, 5'4, five, 5'3, five, somewhere around there. Today we had a look at X-Men 97 Wolverine, and this will be the first of the X-Men 97 Wave 1 reviews that I'll be doing, and after those are done, I'll be doing my X-Men 97 Wave 2 reviews, but thank you for watching, make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below, and remember, and my cash app is down below if you want to help support the channel, but until then... Remember, don't ever stop being a kid and have a good one.